Accutane. Otherwise known as isotretinoin, Accutane is a retinoid medication that treats severe acne. It is the most effective acne treatment with a success rate approaching 90%, with most of the results lasting for life. Since 1982, 12 million people worldwide have been prescribed isotretinoin. However, with its positives comes its downsides as well. The usage of Accutane is linked with side effects of depression, violence, aggression, anxiety, and psychosis. It has even caused people to commit suicide. In 2019, 10 deaths were linked to people who had been using Accutane. With all of its side effects, Accutane has become a very controversial acne treatment. In this video, I'm going to be diving into the dark history of Accutane. Annabelle Wright Annabelle Wright was your average teenage girl. She was popular at school, and she was very close with her family and her two parents, Simon Wright and Helen Wright. Like many other teenagers, Annabelle struggled with acne. She had tried many acne treatments, however, none of them were working and she was at risk of scarring, so she was prescribed Accutane. Annabelle's parents had heard of previous stories of people that had taken their lives due to Accutane. But when they brought this up to the dermatologist, she told them not to worry, claiming that these could have happened due to the children being depressed about their skin rather than the drug itself. This made them feel less worried, so Annabelle continued on with her acne treatment. On May 1st, 2019, it had been about 9 months since Annabelle had started using Accutane, meaning that her skin had been seeing improvements from using the drug. On this night, the Wrights were having dinner with Annabelle's grandmother Maxine. After they finished eating, Annabelle cuddled with her dog called Monty. That morning, Monty had jumped on Annabelle and woke her up by licking her face. Annabelle then got hold of Monty and told him, Are you gonna wake me up like that every morning? Unfortunately, that was the last morning that Annabelle would ever wake up. After dinner, Annabelle's mother and grandmother drove Annabelle's 12-year-old brother William to a young farmer's club and went for a walk. With homework to do, Annabelle chose to stay at home. At about 8.15pm, Annabelle's father Simon returned from work and went upstairs to have a chat with her. He had a pretty normal conversation with her, asking her how her day had been and how her exams were going. After her chat with her father, Annabelle went back to her room. During that night, Annabelle was also talking to her friend who was going to go on vacation with them for the holidays. In the meantime, Annabelle's grandmother and her mother came back home. Annabelle's grandmother went upstairs to Annabelle's room. Unfortunately, this is where Annabelle was found dead. The ambulance and the police came immediately, and the paramedics tried to resuscitate her, but it was too late. Annabelle's passing is confusing. She was popular at school, close with her family, and didn't have a history of any mental health issues. Yet things changed so quickly for the worst. One thing for sure is that her passing wasn't a result of her feeling depressed about her skin. She had already been seeing months of improvement from using Accutane as her skin was clearing up, so it wouldn't make sense for her to feel depressed about her skin. Alright, so I actually just found an article about Annabelle Wright's death. And in this article, it says that this coroner, which basically a coroner is someone that determines the cause of a death, the coroner actually found that the death of Annabelle Wright wasn't directly caused by Accutane. Now, did it play a role? It definitely could have, but the coroner basically said that there isn't conclusive evidence that the Accutane directly caused Annabelle Wright's death. Still though, Annabelle Wright's parents were pretty mad about the verdict, and I can understand both sides, but truly at the end of the day, we're never gonna really know the true cause of Annabelle Wright's death. Bart Stupak Jr. Bart Stupak Jr., also called BJ, is actually the son of Bart Stupak, a member of the U.S. House of Representatives during 1993 to 2011. BJ was well respected by his high school classmates. He played on his high school football team and was the manager of the high school's volleyball team. His classmate described him as a true gentleman with a great personality, and like his father, he was a great leader. Probably the best way to describe him is that there wasn't a single person in the school that didn't like him. On May 13, 2000, BJ was hosting a post-prom party at his house with some friends. During the the party there was some odd behavior. BJ began reading the bible and said he wasn't going to go to college because of his grades and that his parents probably hated him for that. Other than that everything seemed fine. It was just some teenagers having fun. After the party ended unfortunately so did BJ's life. His body was discovered in the early hours of May 14th, 2000. He had shot himself in the head with his father's gun. BJ's mother Laurie spent days looking through BJ's belongings to find out why he had done this. She found nothing. There was no note or reason for his death left behind, and there was no drugs in his system. It wasn't until months later that Lori realized that Accutane could have been the cause of BJ's death. Lori had gone through BJ's belongings once again where she found his Accutane medication. On the package of this medication, it only warned of changes in mood. However, after doing some research, Lori found that Accutane can cause depression, psychosis, and rarely suicide ideation and suicide none of which were on the label of the packaging. Remember, 
This took place in 2000, and Accutane had been around since 1982, so Accutane was not a new medication by any means. You would think that a warning would be made clear on a medication that is used so widely. Lori also felt this way, so she took this issue to court against Roche, the manufacturer of the Accutane that BJ had been using. She claimed that a warning of depression should have been on the packaging of the medication. Roche actually ended up winning this case because Stupak had failed to identify any evidence in the record that Roche knew or should have known that Accutane could cause suicide without premonitory symptoms. Both Annabelle and BJ's passings have shed some light on the risk of using Accutane. The side effects of Accutane can be very sudden and out of nowhere. Both Annabelle and BJ seem to live a very happy life with a supportive family and community. This is scary because if you suddenly feel these depressing thoughts out of nowhere, you might not be able to handle them all by yourself and get the help you need. Pregnancy. No, Accutane doesn't make you pregnant. Come on guys. On a serious note, Accutane can have detrimental effects if being used while pregnant. So to my guys out there, be careful. It increases the chances of miscarriages, preterm births, birth defects, and intellectual or developmental disabilities. This is one of the main reasons a prescription is needed. As women need to be assessed before getting prescription for Accutane, they need to get two negative pregnancy tests and need to get on birth control before they start using Accutane. A common birth defect is a cleft palate. If you don't know what this is, this is basically when the roof of the mouth doesn't completely form and has an opening in it. I don't know if you guys remember this, but there was a book and a movie called Wonder back in the day, and the main character behind that was Augie, and Augie actually did have a cleft palate, so you might recognize the term from there. You might be wondering why I'm bringing all this up, when there's so many precautions that women have to take anyways before they go on to Accutane. Well, unfortunately, even with all the precautions that a woman can take, it doesn't completely rule out a pregnancy. While doing some research for this video, I found an absolutely devastating Reddit post. I just found it on pregnant and I'm currently taking Accutane. If you know anything about Accutane, they heavily stress not getting pregnant on it as it can cause horrible birth defects. I was not trying to get pregnant and taking proper precautions, but shit happens. I feel terrible, as I would never want to purposely harm a baby. I stopped taking the Accutane as soon as I found out, but I'm scared that damage has already been done. I don't want to get an abortion, but I feel like that's my only option at this point. What should I do? Alright, so actually there's more to this because I looked at the original posters, other comments, and replies, and this is what I found. I was practicing abstinence, which my doctor told me did not need a second birth control method, and I was sexually assaulted. So yes, shit did happen in this case. Thank you, have a nice night. I don't, I don't know. This is this is an insane. This is an insane situation. I've oh my god. I I just feel terrible for her. And I hope that the person that did this to her is serving justice. And it's been about 10 months since she made that post. I don't know. There's no updates on what happened, but I hope that her and her baby are doing perfectly fine. So yeah, this is a bit of a different video from the usual videos I make. I did want to make this video though because it sort of explains why I personally didn't choose to use Accutane. And for those of you guys that are considering Accutane, make sure that you look into the risks and the possible side effects of using Accutane before you get into it. Now obviously a lot of these side effects are quite rare, but it's still something that you want to consider. But with that being said, follow me on Instagram at choice.yt. I appreciate you guys and peace.